guys, it's Gita. Uh, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this uh, dramatic uh, winged liner cat eye look along with a classic red lip. Uh, just some tips and tricks on how I do it. So yeah, if you're interested in how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. So I already have my foundation and my brows done. Since I'm doing a simple eye look today, uh, it's not necessary for me to do my eyes first before the rest of my face. I'm going to be going in with the Lorac Pro Palette, which is one that many of you may already have. This is one of my all-time favorite palettes. It just has everything in here. You have one row of mattes along the top and one row of shimmer along the bottom. So I'm going to be using mostly matte shades today and just a little bit of highlighting using these lighter shimmer shadows. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go all over my lid with a base shade and I will be using the shade Cream. I'm using a fluffy eye brush from IT Cosmetics. This came in a set, so I don't have the exact name of this brush. Next up is we're gonna go into our crease with a crease shade, a transition shade, and I'm going to be using the shade Mauve. For that. I'm going in with a Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush, which is great for the crease. Just taking a little bit of that into the crease. Next thing I'm going to do is going to take the uh, taupe shade and just deepen that a little bit using the same eye brush to do that. I'm just going to go back in with that same IT Cosmetics brush and just blend out the edges. Next I'm going to take the nude shade which is the lightest shimmer, same IT Cosmetics brush. And I'm just going to be taking a little bit of that into the inner corner. And I'm just sweeping it in and a little bit under and right here. Just to pop that area and make that brighten just a little bit. And that is the only shimmer that I'm going to be applying to the eyes. And last but not least, with the eyeshadow, I'm going to take the white shade, which is the very lightest. You can use a cream for this step as well. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and go right into the brow bone to highlight. So that was really all I wanted to do with eyeshadow, just bring a little bit of definition to the eye. Next, we're gonna go in with the liquid eyeliner. So per usual, I'm going to be tight lining my eyes The next step is I'm going to go in with my liquid liner using the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. The shade is Trooper. This is a felt tip liner and I like this eyeliner. Um, it's very, very similar to the Stila Stay All Day liquid liner, although the Stila is my favorite. I prefer it to this, but at the moment this is what I have. I usually start by drawing a line starting at the inner corner of the eye. Start thin because you can always build up, but it's very hard to take away once you've done it. So once I have my line already across a bit, then I start to draw my wing starting from the outside. So I flip, flip the liner out and create a small little wing shape starting on the outside. Now this shape may be different based on your own eyes. This is obviously a shape that works for me based on my eye shape. So if you need to make a different uh, length of wing or thickness or angle it a different way, feel free to do that however you like. So I make one small line. Then I close and I meet, make this line meet this. And then I fill that in. You always want to make sure that this line connects here. Okay. 
What I don't like about the shape is obviously it hasn't connected down very well. So I'm going to draw a line starting on the outer corner and going down. And you want to make sure that you're connecting from the inside. All right, then you just got to repeat it on the other side, right? Easier said than done. <laughs> So the next thing that I like to do is I like to go back over my eyeliner with a matte black eyeshadow. So I'm going in with the black shade from the Lorac Pro Palette using a Dallium Tool 760, which is an angled liner brush. And I'm just taking some of that, going back over the eyeliner. This will help to mattify. And it will just make sure that your liner stays put and it looks really pigmented and dark. So that is done. Next thing I'm going to do is curl my lashes and apply mascara. And then I'm going to go in with some false lashes. These are the 747M by Red Cherry. These are very similar to the Ardell Wispies if you like those. They're just a nice wispy lash. Alright, so we have our lashes on, our liner on, and of course the lashes are optional. I'm going to go into my waterline with the Wonder Pencil by NYX. This is in the shade Light. This is what I use underneath my brows to highlight them as well. Just to make it cohesive with the liner on top, I like to add some liner into the waterline just on the outer corner to connect this cat eye. And then I'm going to take that same liner brush from earlier and just smudge it in a little bit. So that completes the eyes. Next I'm going to go in on the lips. The first product that I'm using is Brick Lip Pencil by MAC. The next product is Seraphine Liquid Lipstick by Anastasia. Alright, so that is the finished look with the lipstick on and everything else done. This is just a perfect uh, go-to classic type of look that you can wear for a lot of different occasions. It's a favorite of mine. If you guys have suggestions for other videos, um, leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't uh, already subscribed, uh, feel free to subscribe so you can stay up to date on future videos. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!